Today's video is going to be a story time video about how I got into God. So hello spooky bats and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi and welcome. My name is Orfia and I'm a God YouTuber from Belgium. Today's video was actually requested by one of you in a comment on one of my previous videos. So know that if you leave comments on my videos, I actually do read them, really appreciate them and often take inspiration from your questions or suggestions to make videos. So actually feel free to do so on this video as well. How did I actually get into God? That's a very good question. And in today's video, I want to talk about how I actually got introduced to God, what the God scene was, how I discovered more, and also my very first God event. Today's video is also not scripted. I also did not do any particular research. So this is just coming out of my blurry mind um, since it has been over 12 years since I actually got introduced to the God scene. Whenever I grew up, I always have been a little bit more alternative. Whenever I was age 11, 12, 13, I started listening to more alternative music as in hard rock and punk and alternative genres like rock, etc. So I was always attracted more to that type of music. My two cousins who are around six years older than me actually introduced me to a lot of bands whenever I was 12, 13. They actually introduced me to Limbiscuit, to Korn, to Widom Temptation and lots more. Thanks to my cousins, I got to know Linkin Park, I got to know System of a Down, etc. So from age 13, 14, I started listening to a lot of more metal and hard rock music. I then discovered murder dolls, which looked totally extreme to me and out of reach and oh my god, what was that? I absolutely loved it. Um, it's also the time whenever I started listening to Widom Temptation, Evanescence, Lacuna Coil, so the female fronted vocal bands and that's when an entire new world opened to me. I didn't know what it was, I thought that everything was just metal and alternative, I didn't really know about the existence of God back then. So then I moved with my mom to Wallonia, which is uh, the French speaking part of Belgium. And we didn't live in a big town. We actually lived quite far away in the middle of nowhere. However, once every so often we went to a bigger town and whenever we did, we back in the days went to Free Record Shop, which was a store that sold CDs basically. And over there, I would always go through the metal and alternative CD collection that they had. And that is when I discovered the Gothic compilations. They looked absolutely gorgeous. They always had like very highly done makeups on the covers. The people looked amazing. So I just grabbed those CDs out of curiosity. So I was age 14, 15 by then. I also bought a lot of CDs by System of a Down, by Linkin Park, by other bands that I enjoyed. I think at one point I had everything from Green Day and from Blink-182 because those bands were like what I really enjoyed listening to. I actually know the lyrics to every single song of the Green Day album American Idiots because it released whenever I was young and listening to it constantly. And that's also the inspiration of why I started playing guitar because I wanted to be able to play the music that I enjoyed so much because singing was not really meant for me. However, we're changing that in this year, but that's a whole other story to tell you. So the Gothic compilation CDs were actually my first insight into, hey, there's something else than just loud screaming vocals and heavy guitars. I also discovered bands like Cradle of Filth. I discovered Pop Metal Meeting, which is a festival held in Belgium, which is mainly metal bands, but like all sorts of genres of metal bands. And from age 15, I was actually allowed to go. Fast forward to my very first Graspop, which is by no means the first God event I attended. And at that particular Graspop, a world of music opened to me. I discovered bands like Moonspell, Opet, Dimu Borgir. I was amazed by all the things. I think I went literally from concert to concert. And beforehand, I actually had looked up a lot of bands on YouTube to know what they were like. I have seen so many bands at first here and I actually started talking to people there as well, of course, because you're all like-minded. I actually met a few friends there um, that I still know to this day and that I still see at parties, at events, etc. So Didier, if you see this video, hi. <laughs> um, they also let me know that there was more than just metal. They actually sent me an invite to Vampire Freaks, which is a website that I made a video about a few weeks ago. So if you're interested into Vampire Freaks, feel free to check it out. 
After the grass pop, I went on to Vampire Freaks and I discovered an entire new side of music. I discovered the more electronical industrial sound of music that I personally already really loved. I was amazed by a band called Dead Stars, Dope Stars Inc. And there were a few others that I cannot remember the names of right now. I know The Birthday Massacre was one of the early bands that I got into. Jesus on Ecstasy was one of them as well. Those are not particularly god god bands, as in they don't play new wave, but they were my introduction into another type of music that I hadn't heard before, that was more influential dark, electronic dark of course, but that was something completely different from the heavy angry metal that I had been listening to before. So that made a big shift into my headspace. I also discovered a few magazines thanks to friends. I discovered the magazine Crypt O Gods, which was a French magazine that talked about the god subculture, about fashion, interviews with artists, uh, about books, etc. So I got into it head first, started reading a lot of books by the people suggested in that magazine, started reading a lot about bands, started educating myself onto what the hell is this god actually. That's how I discovered Susie and the Banshees, The Cure and Boa House. Oh my god, I fell in love with Susie and the Banshees. I think I have the CD Tinder box was actually one of the first ones I got and then I also got this compilation box which had three CDs or I don't know how many it were. I actually lost it while one of my numerous moves around the country. But Susie and the Banshees was one of the actual god bands that I started listening to and that I really enjoyed the sound of. Fast forward until I actually was allowed to go out to not local, like regular parties where all types of music are mixed because that's what you have if you live in the middle of nowhere. You just have one type of party that everyone attends and it's a big mix of music. I do enjoy a lot of showers of music, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't a god party. So thanks to Vampire Freaks, I actually was in a group, I think it was called Gothic Vlaanderen or Gothic Belgium. I don't remember and I don't have access to the website anymore. Um, but they actually had like a thread with all of the events happening. And one of those events was happening in Ghent. We actually had family living near Ghent, so I was allowed to go to that party when I turned 18. <laughs> It was Nocturna and I specifically remember that it was the Electro Top 100. What I didn't know was what to expect of the music. So once I got there, they had these flyers on the tables and even before I got into the party, I actually started talking to people outside already and I immediately felt at home. It was like I finally found my people and I'm actually getting a little like teary eyed right now because a lot of those people that I met at that specific event are still close friends of mine. And it just shows how much of a welcoming community the God scene actually is. Um, so at that particular Nocturna, I mostly talked to people, I have to admit. I had my back in the days boyfriend with me who was also alternative, but metal alternative and not really into God alternative, so that didn't last long. Um, so at Nocturna, I talked to a lot of people and whenever I saw on the tables, they had these like it was an A4 paper with all of the things on top of it, like the names of the songs and then the band, of course, except the top three. The top three you didn't know before the end of the night, of course. And a lot of the music I knew, but even more of the music, I had no clue what it was. So when I got home from that party, which was amazing, by the way, what I first did was start looking up every single song of every single band on that list and listen to it so much and my passion for music has always been within me i've always loved music i love playing music as well i used to play the flute and i also used to play the guitar i have stopped in the meantime because i simply don't have time for it but i really love music i listen to it constantly whenever i'm not recording for my videos i have music on in the background because i just love music so the music is what got me in the god scene. The first god event that I attended, the particular Nocturna, I remember I just wore simple higher lace-up black boots that I had. I believe fishnets, if I even had fishnets at the time, and then a black pleated skirt and in the pleats were skulls. And I'm pretty sure I just wore a black t-shirt or a black tank top with it. I know my outfit wasn't particularly super god, but for me, it was my first step into going to a god event and into dressing the way that I actually wanted to dress. 
After that, I went on to a style evolution explosion. I experimented with so many things. I bought and sold secondhand so many clothes just to try out different styles and to know what I liked and where I would fit in and what would be truly me. And only recently have I found that it doesn't matter what I wear as long as I feel comfortable with it. So that's what I do now. But yeah, my first God event was in Ghent. It was called Nocturna. Uh, and it was our Electro Top 100, which honestly wasn't the best introduction to the God scene because a lot of different music was played at other events. And that's something that I only discovered later. Um, but I got into the God electronical scene more than I got into the God new wave scene. Um, back in the days when I was on uh, Vampire Freaks, etc., the main events that were posted in the group were Nocturna, which is Gothic electronic music, Vampire Party, which is also Gothic electronic music, and then of course festivals. Uh, back in the days you had the Gothic Wadigam Festival, which unfortunately I wasn't able to attend before it shut down. Um, I believe there were other festivals that I also wasn't able to attend, unfortunately. The only festivals that I really attended were metal festivals, up until I was really older and moved out and was in my 20s already, and then I started going to the Amphi Festival, etc. Um, but before that, I mainly went to metal festivals and to golf parties. Nowadays, I know that um, goth music actually comes from the new wave and from the post-punk genre, but back in the days, for me, the electronical part was way more present, and it still is to this day. So I personally connect more with that as well, because it's how I grew into my local scene, how I grew into being goth. Now, a side note that I want to make um, is about my local god scene here in Belgium and god scenes anywhere else in the world. I know that not everyone is as fortunate to have events that are happening locally. I know not everyone comes into the god subculture the same way and that's normal. So for this video, what I would really love is you would share with me your origin story. How did you discover about the god scene? How did you get into it? Does it feel like home to you? Because personally to me, it does. I hope you enjoyed this more story time video. If you did, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly videos every Friday. I would love to have you for every single one of them. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you next week with a new video. Bye! If you want to subscribe to my channel, you can do that directly here. And if you want to see more videos, you can see them here.